If Elliott can keep the car from pushing, he might have a chance. White flag is out. One more lap to go. It's just a few inches. Todd Bodine trying to take the lead from Sadler. There's slow traffic again up ahead for Elliott. There's Jordan McCarthy on the outside. Meanwhile, two cars right in front of them. What's going to happen to these cars? We've got Jeff McClure and Johnny Chapman. Will they be a factor? Sadler has it in corner number four. Bodine closes in. He decides to go outside. It's not the right move, though. And Elliot Sadler wins at Nazareth. Wow. Elliot Sadler, what a season. Wow, what a performance. Since we've run long. We have gone over our scheduled time. We're going to try to talk to Elliot on the radio. Elliot Sadler, this has been a Yeah, that was good. It was a good night for him. It'll help him in the points. Those points between the fifth and, and uh, to tenth are just so tight. Everyone makes a big difference. You know this was a great thing for, uh, for Elliot Sadler because he probably felt like he kind of messed up there as a driver in that area. And you really want to be able to redeem yourself. And here he is going to victory lane and, and able to do that for the team tonight. Elliot Sadler gives him the high... Hand signal down the main straightaway and takes the checkered flag. Elliot Sadler, the winner tonight at Myrtle Beach Speedway in the Advanced Auto Parts 250. We'll be back. On his way, white flag this time by. Jason Keller closes down a little. Dale Shaw, he stabilized back there in third. He hasn't gained any ground. Difference is about one second between first and second. Look at Keller coming on. Elliot Sadler. Working that steering wheel out of turn two. He's working it very, very well. You see Dale Shaw going down the back straight away in the four. Look at Elliot Sadler right now. You see his hands very, very smooth. He knows it's his race. Don't make a mistake. So focused. But look who's coming on. Look at Keller closing. Look at Keller moving through turn four. It's going to be a race to the finish. It's Keller down to the inside. Elliot Sadler puts the hammer down. He's going to win it by about two. Well, he almost took it too easy on that last lap. Yeah, but I tell you what, it's not uh, close to count in anything but hand grenades and horseshoes, so he did very well. Elliot Sadler, at 22 years of age, has won on a super speedway big time. The inaugural race here at the Gateway International Raceway. He pulled it off. brushed the wall a moment ago. Barrier being shown pretty far back in the pack here White. today. Ed Barrier back in 26th spot. White flag waving over the leader, Elliot Sadler. He is on the back straightaway, coming around for the final time here today. If you've gone through the list of likely winners here this <laughs> afternoon, not too many people would have given you Elliot Sadler's name, but he has no. done a great job as he comes out of turn number four from 19th starting spot. His second win of 1998, Elliot Sadler is the winner. In the Diamond Ridge Chevrolet, the Phillips 66 car, Sadler is your winner. LePage is second, Sadler Hermie is third, Kevin Grubb and Philip Morris, your top five here today. Yay, Philip Morris, great job for a rookie <laughs> driver. And uh, trust me, he drove a lot more laps than anybody else. And, and Bobby Hillen <laughs> involved in two wrecks today and coming yeah. out eighth place. Eighth That's place. great. We've had some surprising finishes here today, and of course the winner is one of them. What a deal. get close enough to put the bumper to him will Sadler make a slip and open the door final corners been a long time October 1998 since Elliott Sadler won a NASCAR nation
Nationwide Series race. He'll be first to the checkers today in Phoenix. Sadler wins it. Nice job, Billy. You are the man. Good job, everybody. Way to go. Hamlin and Lodano settle out that position cleanly. Oh, yeah! Checkered flag is up. White flag is up. I'm sorry. I told you they'd go by in a hurry. I'm sorry. Quick, though. Get ready. <laughs> That's quite a lap you made around here. I'm telling you. Second. Hell yeah! <laughs> Second win at Bristol in the Nationwide Series for Elliot Sadler. The strategy call got in track position and he did the rest. the top three in the nationwide series championship who wins it green white checker attempt number one green 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 all dire pushing sadler clear of stenhouse kenny wallace inside stenhouse That's going to give oh. it a charge on the high side. Had a wiggle there. About five, it's Mars down here. You want more good lap here, brother? White flag, the last lap has begun. Oh. We see Allgaier close in. He really charged down into turn one. Here comes Stenhouse on the high side. Oh, squeeze there. That might have been just what Sadler needed. Stenhouse gets clear of Allgaier. Can he have enough to run at Sadler? It's going to be too late. Elliott Sadler is going to win the STP 300 at Chicagoland. Baby, get him! That was an amazing performance. Elliot Sadler, you are the man. Way to dig deep, brother. You dug deeper than anybody today before you even won the race. Andy, I've heard you say it before. You take a driver that's injured a little bit or a little bit under the weather, and sometimes you get their best performances. We just saw that out of Elliott Sadler the other day. What a great drive. That was a gutsy performance. Rally. I mean, they needed this desperately because here we go with the white flag lap. White flag. Clear about Marty, they, did, they didn't need it a month from now. They needed it this week. They have to find a way to put last week in the rearview mirror and nothing does it more than a dominant week, dominant race. That's what we've seen out of Elliott. The streak is going to end for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. His domination of Iowa is over. It now belongs to Elliott Sandler Jr. Not this championship from me. Yeah, baby! Way to go, driver. Way to go, team. Really proud of this whole group. What a win for Elliot Sadler. There's Luke Lambert, and could you hear the emotion in that voice? Yeah, if there's any doubt about what Elliot Sadler's thinking about, he just, he just backed it up. They are not taking the championship from us. For Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s team. Here they come to the white flag. We are on the last lap of the race. Chris Busher outside, Elliot Sadler inside, bumping, pushing, side drafting. Who gets back first? And nobody can clear each other. They're locked together side by side, side drafting. Landon Castle and Joe Nemechek, the third pair. If something happens to these front four. Steaming and overheating everywhere. 
Castle with a move to the inside. Reagan blocks him off. That clears Elliott Sapper in front. Final quarter. Regan Smith looking to the outside. To the checkered flag. Elliott Sapper wins it. Great job, man. Great job. It'll take a full lap for sure. I'd say probably coming off turn four right here is when they're, uh, you know, after they take the green is when they're going to be wound up full song. But I tell you, this is a uh, this is shaping up to be pretty exciting. I I've never been so nervous not to be driving a race car. <laughs> you say Logano, right, Hamlin? You like, I Logano? like Logano? Where are you going, Michael? I'm going to go with Elliott Sadler. I think he pushes him and sweeps around him and wins the race. It's time for overtime at Talladega, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Logano and Poole on the front row. I tell you, if Brennan Poole here just get if he ever gets a chance to get down in front of that 22, he's got to take it. He's getting a great push by Jeremy Clemens. Every one of these drivers know that a berth in our chase is, is up oh, for grabs. Oh, and you can't, drafting. you can't lock bumpers. you got to pay attention to that here. Yeah, it looks pretty locked, but NASCAR is going to have to make that call. You can see the big run on the outside. Here comes Jeremy Clemens. we got a word from NASCAR. Restart is under review. Go low. Oh, those are teammates down there. The one of Elliott Sadler, the black seven of Justin Allgaier. Look Restart is good, according to NASCAR. Look at Logano make those moves. He's so good at just anticipating when he needs to move to the high lane. He does it perfectly there. He's got the lead. We've gotten past the overtime line. If the caution comes out now, this race would, in fact, be over. We'd freeze the field. I'm telling you, we haven't seen the last of this outside line. They're going to make a run. Here we are, coming to the white. One lap to go. Logano out front. You remember Elliot Sadler was right there trying to win at Daytona. He finds himself that in that position here at Talladega yeah. as well. Here comes Brendan Poole. He's going to have a huge run. He's to the outside of the one of Elliot Sadler. Is he going to get the push from the 51? Is the oh. one? Oh, this is going to hurt the 22. Here comes the 48. Sadler down below the line slides back up in front of his teammate Justin yeah, he, Allgaier. He got out there. He got out there. Stay with the one. It's okay. The 48 has got to stay, stay close, the tight better. to the 22 here to have He's a chance. Bounce you out. You're clear. Stay in like that. Stay in like that. The one bounce you out. Now watch him. How did Elliot Sadler get back on the road and not lose any ground? He's going to have a chance to win this race. He, if he pulls high. Joey Logano gets turned. Elliott Sadler drives through. We're They're see. crashing big time at the line. Brendan, Brendan Poole. Poole. First career win at Talladega. How about that for Brendan Poole? And oh, and a big hit for, from Blake. <laughs> Huge crash. Joey Logano with damage. The same for Blake Cook. Wow. Oh, what a finish. Uh, the 22 just went to block the one. A little he's too much lost For the first time in his career. They won't give him the checker flag, Adam. <laughs> He's sitting down at the start finish line. Say, please, can I just have it? I know I won this race. Let's see what the video shows here. What would you anticipate they're, they're looking at? Because I, I never saw the caution lights come on. And the only thing I can think of is that is that NASCAR would have deemed the caution lights came on before they got to the start finish line and Poole uh, was not leading at the time of caution. That's, that's possible. But I didn't see the lights come on. Logano's okay. He gave it his all. He gave it everything he had. He did what he had to do to win the race, and he just came up short. It, the, the other thing, it's obvious here that Brennan Poole beats him. But the only thing I would say is, is are they looking at all the video of the last couple of laps to see if anybody was locking bumpers in that scenario? Yeah, that's that, we saw a lot of it going on. We saw it happen in, at Daytona. It was like the, the end of the race. It was, you know, it was very borderline, all the pushing that was going on. But... Uh, Gosh, I think the whole field was doing it there probably the last few laps. Uh, so the wait, it lasts a little longer for Brennan Poole. It's going to make the moment so much special. Uh, right after, right as they were saying, put it out. Then uh, we were ahead of them. We were ahead of them for, you know, pit exit on. 10-4, uh, I mean, it seemed like I had half a car on them, so. 
Yeah, we actually see the one actually sitting at the start finish line as well. You know, maybe he thinks he has a shot. It, it is, you know, I'd like to see a shot of when that caution came out or when the lights came on and, and kind of sync that with uh, what car was Every out front. Every piece of evidence that they, they go off of loop data, they'll go off of video and everything. So they have a lot Watch. that's going to transpire here. Watch. The There's the caution. Here's Elliot Sadler. Watch for the caution light to Elliot come on. Sadler Elliot Sadler wins, wins it at Talladega. Race. Unbelievable. How about that? The birthday boy, Mike. Wow, that is so special. Uh, you, you love it for him. You hate it for Brennan Poole. Oh. Wow, that's hard. And a, and a great job by NASCAR. They, they said they use every piece of evidence they can find to determine the winner on the last lap. Elliot Sadler was clearly ahead when the caution happened. I, I'm so happy for Elliot. I mean, he, he scratches any claws in this series to, to uh, you know, continue to make championship runs every single year. His consistency is Elliot unmatched Sandler, by anyone else. By a spotter. Don't look in your mirror. Hit your marks. Keep doing what you're doing. Two more, two more. Two more no, times Randall, around at Darlington. Me. Another two Seven tenths. tenths of a second separating the top two. Can Hamlin catch him? Up into the oh, wall, the one. one may have a tire going down. A close shot there as he got up into the wall, getting out of turn two. And around the 18 will go. Denny Hamlin trying to get by the one. The one back by. A little smoke coming out of the back. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. This is the period where he had trouble last time. He got into the corner, got too high on corner exit, got up into the debris. That's what caused that issue. He and runs low this time through one and two, and Denny Hamlin has definitely caught him. One. Big run Number as they go one. down the back stretch. Three and four is all that's left between Elliott Sadler and Denny Hamlin in the checkered flag. Out of the way, all clear. Coming out of turn four, Elliott Sadler, 20 years in the sport, his first win at Darlington. Oh, it got exciting. That one small mistake on the exit of turn two gave awesome Denny Hamlin an man. opportunity. Awesome <laughs> two chase drivers, two non-chase drivers. Here comes Suarez trying to get second. Daniel through to second. And for Elliott Sadler, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. The gap is almost half a second, but you can see it there. Suarez not giving up. Going to take a huge run into turn three. Lots of space for Elliott Sadler down to the yellow line, coming off as clean as he can off of turn four, and Elliott Sadler will win and advance to the round of eight at Kentucky. Awesome job, man. Awesome job. Great team effort. Proud of all you guys. Sadler was not the leader at the restart. He found a way to get the point and held it.